In this demo, I have a file that doesn't contain sensitive data. And I have another file that contains very sensitive data for the organization. This device is a corporate device, meaning that it's recognized and is protected by the organization. Meaning that the person, when they go to a SharePoint, if they try to download these two files, they can download the files without any restriction and they can open the file. No sensitive data and open. I open the file without any restriction. That is great because I am accessing the data from a corporate device and the data is under control of the organization. But let's suppose I, I am accessing from a non-managed device to the same two documents. You notice that this is a document with the sensitive data. This is another document that doesn't contain sensitive data. As this is a SharePoint that is not protected, I am able to download the data. Let's download and let's open the files. When the file that is not data protected, notice that I can open without any problem, even in a no recognized device. But what happened when I try to open this document from a no protected device? It is telling me that I am not able to open the file because it's recognized that I am downloading the data from a no managed device and they are asking me for my account. So let's see and add our account to say that I am working in that company. I was able to open this file because I am saying that I am opening this document in a no protected document. And in this moment you are recording and you should see black screen because the file is protected. The system is able to detect when you are doing a recording or taking a screenshot and it's black screen protecting the data. So in this way, it's a more intelligent way to protect the data when people is trying to download sensitive data. We don't block the download. We only protect the data when they contain sensitive information. Thank you very much. Bye.